what is a four hour pause do when the moment it, it's over, the Israeli government is just going to continue to kill innocent Palestinian people? This morning, no pause in Israel's war with Hamas. Overnight, Israel releasing new video of airstrikes. Filmed from a children's hospital this morning, Israeli tanks on the streets of Gaza City. Israel's Prime Minister telling Fox News there's no ceasefire. A ceasefire with Hamas means surrender to Hamas. This explosion was next to another hospital, Al Shifa, where Israel has said there's a Hamas headquarters. Hamas accused of using civilians as human shields, accusations denied by Hamas. The picture. The, um, even if Hamas is using people as human shields, it does not justify the Israeli government king areas where they obviously know there is going to be uh, civilians there and potentially killing or injuring civilians. Just there today show people killed, injured and terrified. Hundreds of thousands have been forced to flee from the north and Israel says the daily four-hour pause announced by the White House is a continuation of its humanitarian corridors. But for the families of Israeli hostages taken in the October 7th terror attacks where 1,400 were killed, any pause is hopeful. Yesterday, the group holding 77-year-old Hannah Katsia and a young boy, Yagil Yakov, released a propaganda video of them, then promised to let them go. But there's no news this morning, and the International Committee of the Red Cross, which would facilitate any release, tells us it would need guarantees. Like we cannot force our way through the bullets. Yonatan Zygin believes his 74-year-old peace activist mom is held hostage too. First of all, bringing back the hostages, that's the first thing. We can't move on without it. And there are multiple diplomatic meetings underway uh, behind closed doors, Savannah. Two officials tell NBC News of a meeting in Qatar yesterday between the director of the CIA and the director of Israel's intelligence services. Again, there are going to be many hurdles, but some hope this morning for those hostage families, Savannah.